Welcome back to the Basic Radio User Training Program, hosted by the Hot Cog Homeland Security Division. In this final unit of instruction, we will review the course objectives that we addressed in this course, discuss how you can receive continuing education credit for your time and efforts, and acknowledge the folks that gave their time, knowledge, and experience to ensure that this course truly addresses the needs of Texas first responder and emergency management stakeholders. This course addressed a number of topics designed to increase responder awareness pertaining to proper radio use to support day-to-day -day operations and the response to incidents and events. This course defined the governance and requirements related to the use of land mobile radio equipment, described the features and operational considerations of land mobile radio equipment, described the practical applications of land mobile radios for both operability and interoperability, defined the practical uses of land mobile radio technologies, and identified the companion documents that support operability and interoperability. Under certain circumstances, you may be able to receive continuing education or basic certification training credit for this course. You may only receive CE credit from this course if your department conducts a simple functional exercise in accordance with the following requirements. Your department must submit for your CE credit and must maintain course and exercise records as required by your licensing or certifying entity. The exercise requirement to receive CE credit is a relatively simple exercise to organize and conduct. The first requirement is that all participating persons must check in with the exercise controller or training officer using an interoperability channel. Secondly, an ICS-205 must be developed and distributed to all participating persons. The 205 can be developed by the training officer in advance of the exercise and provided as participatory material. Each participant must be able to locate a specific radio channel in their radio and operate the various functions of the radio, such as turning scan on and off, activating the transmit mode on the radio, selecting between zones, groups, and channels, and increasing or decreasing the volume. An observer controller or training officer must evaluate the exercise and an after-action review and corrective action plan that addresses identified successes and deficiencies be developed and distributed to the participants following the exercise. This approach, defined by the Homeland Security Exercise and Evaluation Program, or HC, ensures that all requirements of the exercise were met and all objectives were evaluated with areas improvement noted. If you would like to receive additional training on communications related topics, there are several options available to you at no cost. First, you might consider taking the Basic Radio User Train the Trainer course should you desire to instruct this course in person at your own department. The Train the Trainer course focuses on the key elements of the course that you should custom tailor to meet the needs of your own agency or jurisdiction. The course is typically provided in a conference call or webinar format and is available from the Texas SWICS office at the Texas Department of Public Safety. If you want more technical training in how to establish operability and interoperability during incidents and planned events, I encourage you to check out the Type 3 All Hazards Communication Unit Leader and Communications Technician courses. You can find available courses, as well as request course offerings on preparingtexas.org. To receive a course completion certificate for this course, there are a few things that we need to ensure are completed. First, be sure that you've completed all assignments and activities located throughout this course. If you've made it this far, then you should have addressed all previous requirements and only need to complete the activities for this unit. Secondly, you will need to complete the course feedback form located within this unit. This form gives us a picture of your experience with this course and information on how we can improve the course moving forward. Once you have completed the activities and course feedback form, you will be able to download and print your personalized course completion certificate. You should provide a copy of this certificate to your department or agency's training officer. Once your department holds a simple exercise that we discussed previously, your training officer may issue continuing education credit as allowed by your certification or licensing agency. Before you go, we want to thank you for your time in taking this course. The work that you do in your community is valuable and important. Please take full advantage of the training opportunities and information that are offered and share it with others in your department. Together, we can continue to improve the emergency management response capabilities across our region and truly strengthen our community as a whole. Until next time, stay safe, be aware, and keep up with the great work that you do in your community.